Today I'm gonna show my um, own design generator coil. It's one of my uh, design. This is the first one. It is a uh, air core coil. As you can see, there is absolutely no cogging effect. And the drive system is still the same. And here, on this side, I have now uh, 500 milliamps meter. This is for the output of the coil. And here I have a small digital, digital meter, so you can see the volt of the coil. This 3 amp meter here, we're not going to use it today. It's for another time. The coil at this moment is uh, not connected to the secondary of the transformer. It's open. We're going to start the system with the coil open. And also the primary is not connected to the rectifier. Starting of the system. Speed 1. Over speed, whatever. We're gonna let the system get up to speed first before we uh, start with the testing of the DC load. I've taken away the other cars. Here they are. Going for second speed. As you can see, meters are all out. Nothing's on yet. Going for third speed, which is the uh, overdrive. You can see it at the amp meter and the volt meter, but you can also hear it. There's the uh, my uh, new design coil for generation of uh, electricity. Yeah, we are almost there. Gonna switch on here the uh, voltmeter and the 500 milliamp meter. Yeah, it's almost there. Yes. Okay, we are now at 18 volts at, yeah, let's say 525 milliamp. First, gonna connect the coil to the secondary of the transformer and see if it has any effect on the system. The coil is now connected only to the secondary of the transformer. Yeah, no changes. None whatsoever. Now I'm gonna connect the load. Here it goes. As you can see, I'm getting 5.9 volt DC or 5.8 at 200 milliamps. 
the two light bulbs are lit and the milliamps has gone up from 525 to let's say 600 and yeah almost 700 milliamps it is kind of steady around 700 milliamps uh, these two light bulbs each one of them are, uh, are 0 0.6 watt so this is a total of 1.2 watt load DC this I'm getting output is 200 milliamps there it is at 5.7 volt DC and the input went from 525 milliamps to 700 milliamps now I'm gonna short the coils completely the, not the coils, the coil, put it here As you can see, I'm getting zero volts, which is, uh, which is normal. Milliamps shorted is uh, 300 milliamps. And the um, input milliamps is still several hundred milliamps. Going to unshort it again and put it over here. Turning out the lights. Input fault is 5.5 volts. With those two light bulbs lit up. Input fault. Okay, that's uh, about it. It's a small video about this coil. It doesn't seem like much, but I can guarantee you when doing a uh, higher RPM test, let's say between 2500 and 3000 RPM, it doesn't affect the system. There is no cogging effect and also the, the system does not slow down. Neither does the input amp increases. Input amps now 700 milliamps, which is around 175 milliamps more without the load. Gonna disconnect it here. Lights are out. No output. System is slowing, speeding up. milliamps are slightly going back down to where they were and that was uh, 525 milliamps okay gonna engage the coil one more time Output voltage here 5.7 Output milliamps 200 milliamps 1.2 watt DC load And input Yeah, is climbing To the 700 milliamps mark I will be showing that uh, high RPM test maybe in a few mean few weeks or a month or two when I set up my other pulse motor for that uh, high speed test thank you for watching forgot to uh, let you guys see when I shut down the system completely 
completely shut down. It is still spinning. I still have a little bit of output and decreasing. This is the good part when working with coils that have no core in them. The only core is air. Thanks for watching.